Kofmo from the Amazing Digital Circus will be back. You may ask, how can Kofmo come back if he abstracted himself in the first episode? But what if I told you that he didn't actually abstract? He found his way out. So what happened to him? And where did he disappear to? In the splash page for the series, we were shown a cardboard cutout instead of the actual character, then told that Kofmo didn't show up that day. As we know, the clown is the main symbol of the circus, and it should always be there. A clown is always associated with fun and laughter. How then did the funniest, in fact, of all the characters disappear? Based on the plot, we know that Kafmo often liked to joke around, tell interesting stories, and was always a very outgoing character. He was probably everyone's favorite. Kafmo, like the others, was probably human too, but he never gave up hope and treated everything with humor. Don't you think it's strange? Yes, we are told that Kaufmo has been talking too much about coming out lately. As Rogata said, she expected Kinger to be the first to abstract, but not Kaufmo. You can find an actual model of the clown in the files. But why model him if he left us in the first episode? If the story is to be believed, the clown, according to the character's stories, had signs by which he could abstract. Are all clowns really insane? There's a theory that Kofmo arrived at the Digital Circus recently. But he didn't last long and was replaced by Pomni, who is also very clown-like. I believe that she is actually a jester. Also, we can notice the similarity that Pomni, as well as Kaufmo, talk about exiting too often. Other than that, there are no more characters that look like clowns in the Digital Circus. What if no one believes the clowns? As soon as Pomni starts talking or thinking about the exit, the other characters immediately change the subject and say, it doesn't exist. Maybe Kafmo really did find a way out, but no one just believed him. Especially Kane, constantly insinuating to the characters that there is no way out here. And everything the characters see is just a digital hallucination. Although we know that Kane is an artificial intelligence and he just might not know anything about getting out of the digital circus. Kafmo may have pretended to go crazy purposely painted his room and stuck an abstracted one in there, after which he escaped. None of us know Kafmo personally. We've only heard stories about him. Or maybe it's all a made-up story for Pomni to show her what can happen if you go crazy. But what if Kafmo really went crazy and abstracted himself? As we know from the story, abstracted characters are put in a dark basement, and the clown most likely knew this. It begs the question, can the abstracted somehow communicate with each other? Or are they just characters who have gone insane and no longer understand anything at all? We don't know that yet, but I think future episodes will tell us more about the abstracted. Kaufmo really could have gone crazy for several reasons. The most obvious one is the attitude of the other characters towards the clown. As we saw in the first episode, Ragatha revealed that she laughed at Kaufmo's jokes, not because she was amused, but because she was afraid of offending the clown. Jax, for example, may have been intentionally mocking and making jokes about Kaufmo, because he treats all characters that way in general. Kaufmo may have been the kind of person who immediately noticed when someone didn't listen to him or did something insincere. The clown soon realized that no one wanted him and he needed to find a way out of the digital circus. But in his search for answers to his questions, he began to go more and more insane, constantly talking about a way out, and after a while, Kaufmo thus abstracted himself. Another reason could be that the clown was infected by the abstracted character. There is a painting in his room where he personally meets the abstracted one. Kaufmo may have accidentally stumbled into a basement with monsters where one of them infected the clown. Kaufmo managed to make it to the room and tried to draw himself in the painting, whereupon he went insane. As we know, to become infected by the abstracted, all you have to do is touch it. In any case, if Kaufmo did abstract, he was probably holding back his evil self for a while. But still, what if Kaufmo really did find a way out? Let's take a peek into his room. Like I said, there are paintings on the walls where Kaufmo saw himself abstracted, after which he painted himself abstracted. Which begs the question, if Kaufmo did abstract, how could he paint himself? After all, we've seen the abstracted one wreck everything in his path and try to break the characters. Does the abstracted one really have the zeal for creativity to draw himself? On top of that, he has the whole room painted with the word exit. Somewhere it says there's no way out. And somewhere it says, what's an exit got the clown? 
as if Kafmo himself had already seen the exit. I also want to remember one of the strangest drawings, where Kafmo is running away from evil Kane. Maybe Kane isn't as good as he seems at first glance, but that's another story. In one of the paintings, we see a clown in front of an abstract, and the word why is written on the painting. From this, we can deduce that Kaufmo has stumbled upon a door with an exit to the basement. As we know, there are many doors in the digital circus that lead to different places. For example, one of the doors with the word exit led remember to the void. Most likely, the same door led Kaufmo to a dark basement. Could this mean that for each character, the exit from the digital circus could be in a certain door? It's like a final level that the player must complete. Kaufmo may have realized this, and once a character has overcome their biggest fear or personal problem, they can leave the digital circus. Perhaps Kaufmo couldn't find that door anymore, and realized that in order for him to get to the basement, he needed to become abstracted. If this is indeed the case, then Kaufmo knew a great deal about the digital circus. We don't know this yet, but it may be the hidden meaning of the digital circus. I believe that in order to leave the digital circus, each of the characters must complete a different challenge. After that, there will be an option for them to either leave the digital circus or stay in it. However, I have another theory about this. Kofmo could have actually set it up so that all the characters could come out. If Kofmo knew the truth, he left a lot of hints in his room. And maybe there will be a point in the future where the clown will appear in one or more episodes to help all the characters get out of the digital circus. Though on the other hand, Realizing the attitude of the other characters, Kaufmo could have just confused the characters on purpose, though that's unlikely. As I said earlier, the clown left a lot of hints in his room, but why wouldn't he tell all the characters everything directly? I believe it's all about Kane. He has many different wiretaps and video cameras in the form of an eye. I think that if Kane found out about it, he could, for example, erase everyone's memory. It's entirely possible for him to do that and by using human cues that artificial intelligence may not understand, Kaufmo was able to leave information to the characters that artificial intelligence is unable to internalize. We don't know exactly anything about the clown because other characters have told us about him. We don't know his exact behavior, his exact character, or his exact intelligence. There is a small sliver of probability that some of my theories will turn out to be true, but it's possible that things will actually be quite different. What do you think about Kaufmo? Has he really abstracted himself, or is he secretly lurking somewhere in the digital circus? Do you believe the clown may return in future episodes? Be sure to write your ideas and theories in the comments. And also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Good luck everyone and bye bye.